Hello everybody, my name is Jad, welcome to another MLB 9 Innings 22 video, and in today's video, we've got some packs, combos, we've got to take our Chad Green to Black Diamond, I forgot his name there for a second, and we also have a mileage sig to go through today, I got like four free agents just racking up mileage, it was dreadful, so fortunately, I picked a good time in the morning when I wouldn't have to worry about fighting with other people for free agents, so... Got myself about 3,000 mileage, and off we will go. So, without further ado, let's do everyone's favorite activity, which is pull our free daily pack. So, we are finally getting close to the end. Oh, we got a prime? Wow. That's insanity. We've never gotten anything good from our daily pack ever. That's That's unbelievable. I believe that's a... Do I have a Matt Carpenter Prime? I don't think I do. I believe that's a new one. Yeah, I don't have a Matt Carpenter Prime. I also have a new Prime from League. And I, I posted this in a Discord. Uh, it was AK's Discord a couple of days ago. But I was saying... Uh, I had to teach myself how to say his name. Because everyone makes fun of me whenever I say him. But I got a Gagne. I hope I got it right this time. I had to look it up. Because I am tremendously awful at saying it. So... I will never get it wrong now again, hopefully, but I got a Gagne Prime. Some people were saying I should the, uh, should think about using it as maybe a 26th man. That's not a, honestly not a bad idea. I'd have to get better skills on him than Tyler Clippard or Chapman because I'm using May in one of those spots in the future as well as Chad Green. So I need one more middle relief pitcher so I can either use Gagne. Uh, always, everybody always has to message me in the middle of doing videos. What is it? Is this some kind of like fatal attraction or something? It's incredible. I don't know what it is. It's like everybody knows I'm recording your videos, and they go, "Oh, I'm gonna go message him now." But I, the, if I need one more pitcher, so I'll either need a Yankee Sig or I could use the Gagne. I'll probably use, I'll probably can like get a, a Yankee Sig at some point anyway. So it wouldn't really surprise me if that would just blow up my face. I mean, I don't have to GI him. It would just be using BD pieces. So I don't know. We, we'll think about it. But uh, let's go pull our sig pack. It'd be pretty cool if I got a Yankee, but I mean, I'm not really going to sit here and, you know. I got a diamond? We could do a diamond sig combo. Wow. Uh, no, I don't know who that is. We could do a diamond sig combo. Oh, that's crazy. Who are you, sir? A 65 base relief pitcher. Not the worst. Not ideal, though. We've been pulling a couple Diamond Sigs. I don't know what's been going on, but, like, we've been, we pulled the Diamond Geo, and then we pulled this guy, and that's been pretty cool. Okay, three Diamond Sig combo. Yes, please. No way! No way, dude! Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh my god, it's a Yankee, but it's a it's a dupe! Oh my god, are you kidding me, man? That is such a kick in the nuts. It is it is frankly difficult to believe. Do I have I do. I have. I have a. I have a club craft right now to use. That's such a kick in the nuts. He would be a great DH, but I already have a Gary who's already full, like fully fleshed out and everything. Like he would have higher power, but he have way worse contact and way worse eye. So I, I don't. Th I don't think it would be really worth it. I'm not really going to mess with it. And also, I'd have to go get bad ball. I'd have to get a legend skill on the new Gary as well. So I'm just going to club craft the 19. I I'm not really that desperate for anything. If anybody's watched the more recent videos, I think the theory is is in the, in the long run, we're probably going to use Billy Williams as a DH. So even if I used that Gary as a DH, it would probably not be permanent. So... I'd prefer the 17 and we'll one day get him to stab and then we're probably going to do that. So that's how I'm going to rationalize this. 
So let's club craft a sig today. I can't believe it's two diamonds as well. That's such a kick in the nuts. I was not expecting to do this today. I gotta unlock Geo, right. While I was contemplating previously about putting Geo on my roster, um, I wanted to save him in case there was a exclusive thing pack that came out. Uh, that was not the case. So, I I don't really think having him as a bench player would really be useful to me, so I'm just going to get rid of him. Okay, here we go. Club craft. So, no matter what, we are pulling two Yankee Sigs in this video. So, we all know how this goes. Um, I would prefer a batter. I, I, right now, I'm not on the new update, so I believe I still have a chance to pull Babe Ruth. For those of you who saw the new update information, they're removing Babe Ruth and Mantle and obviously the rest of the Supremes from the game, like Steve Carlton and Lou Brock, for instance. They are removing them from the game, so it would be cool to pull one. It would be cool to pull Ruth before he's removed from the game, but it would not be like the end of the world. I'm also looking for, obviously, a first baseman. I would also be taking... I would take a Chapman. I'd also take a Luiziga. I guess I'd also take a Lu Lucas Licky, even though he's, like, a 65 base. Um, just any relief pitcher I don't have, or a first baseman, or Babe Ruth. That's another Aaron Hicks. That's, like, my second Aaron Hicks card, man. Are you serious? That's the second time I've pulled that Aaron Hicks, too, recently. That's crazy. All right, so now we will wait until we have another club craft in a month. Hopefully, uh, we'll have a sig pack. I believe. Let's see. Today, today is what the twenty eighth? No, twenty ninth. So today is the twenty ninth. So by probably the end of September, we'll have another sig pack because of the playoffs. It's usually around when the playoffs begin. We'll see a SIG pack. So probably a month out from a team select SIG. So we'll, we'll be right around ready to do another club craft in case we actually dupe it. But anyway, let's get into actual content for this video that was actually planned. Which is going through all of these packs that I got from using my free agent tickets this morning. Nice. That's a vintage. That's a pretty cool pull. Very happy about that. Would be cool to pull this dupe legend I'm going to pull later. Oh, it's a diamond. Nice. And a prime, too? Another Matt Carpenter? Nope, Justin Turner. I think I already got a Justin Turner. I need, need to look at my lineup, but I'm fairly certain I already have a Justin Turner. I have most of the Dodgers primes at this point already, I believe. Let's take a look at our lineup. I'm pretty sure I've got Turner. Oops. And just in case there ever is a sick change, I'm also holding on to a Babe Ruth material, just in case. You never know. Oh, I thought I already had a Justin Turner. Maybe I used him in Mentor, or maybe I used him somewhere else, but I guess I don't have one. Okay. That's interesting. I, I thought I already had one. Hey, oh, you learn something new every day. So I guess we're going to call that another new prime already. We're all, like a couple minutes into this video and I already have two brand new primes. So incredible. This this um, week from the check-in, from the overall check-in, like the 30-day check-in, there was actually a blue ticket in the check-in. So I thought about potential people I could use it on. I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to just hold on to it until we actually get blues and greens. There isn't really anybody that's close enough to a real skill set that I'm really feeling confident about. The only one that I can think of is really close enough. That's a good pull right there. The only one I can think of that's even re relatively close enough is Dellen, who has, I believe he's got like Control Master, Winning Streak, and then another skill. So he would be the only conceivable target for me to use the blue on. But I don't know if Winning Streak is really going to be that useful on him. I, I really don't know. So I'm probably just going to hold off until I'm absolutely sure that that is like a good one to have on him. Because in this world that we're sitting in right now, 
where I believe his final skill goes to three, he would essentially be having winning streak at three because there is not a lot of situations where I would think that winning streak would be the second highest skill. In most other situations that I can think of, if I got like Control Master Boss, if I got I got the blue and I got Boss, it'd be Control Master and Boss would be maxed, and then Winning Streak would be shorted. So, I think that in most of the situations, I think that I would be shorting Winning Streak here. So I don't know if I'd rather have something else instead. I think that would probably be better. Anyway, that's my that's my asinine logic here. I I hope it makes some semblance of sense, but if not, well, I tried. You guys know me. I just ramble for half an hour and then, you know, try to put together cohesive thoughts. And most of the time it works out. And it didn't mean to open a silver. I thought I still had more premiums left. Thought I still had more premiums. I do. Okay, I need a couple more golds for these combos is what I really need. Nice. Give me a couple more golds. Thank you much. In speaking of the recent update, let me pull up a list of the things that are coming in the next update. For anybody out there who did not see the update, I can uh, go on Discord real quickly and I can see. We posted in our club Discord. We were talking about it. Not only, I think the main thing we were talking about was the fact that they are removing Babe Ruth and they're removing Mickey Mantle and the other Supremes. You will still be able to get them. If you bought the Historic Pack before the sale was removed you will still be able to get them however once the historic packs are gone that's it they're gone like once you use up your historic packs there's no way of getting another one in theory so uh hold on a second let me let me let me go combine these guys away real quick and in the meantime let me pull up the announcements and see that's not it um there was an arcade reset ticket. Not an arcade reset ticket. I'm sorry. I'm losing my mind here. A ranked refresh ticket, which makes sense. I mean, that that's that's something that should like have probably been created previously. Uh, ranked battle refresh matchless ticket. Stars are automatically received after friend battles, so now you don't have to collect them at the bottom of the thing like previously. Uh, and now, if you complete the new OVR analysis room at least once, you're going to get 300 stars guaranteed. And I, I, I mocked this at first. I was like, oh, wow, don't spend those all in one place. And honestly, it's right. I mean, they give us so many free stars from the play pass that it's kind of silly that they're going to limit you to 300 stars per month. But I don't know. So the historic players will be removed on the 30th of September, pretty much. The historic packs will be removed on the 30th. That's the last time that you will be able to purchase the historic player packs. And then I don't think that they're going to discontinue the player packs. I believe they're going to give us some new ones. Uh, some people, we talked about this last night. We were talking about how there could be um, maybe some new people, such as uh, a lot of people said Griffey would be a pretty cool option. There was some other people, maybe, I don't know, Frank Thomas. Barry Bonds is always an interesting one, but I, who knows if they can even get his rights. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I would like to see Roberto Clemente. Uh, obviously, there's you know Willie Mays, and there's, there's a bunch of other people who are really great ideas. Um, if you want to go another Yankee, maybe you could do you know maybe you could do Mariano as an interesting one. Maybe you could finally give Johnny Bench a supreme. Maybe I really don't know. Uh, I already have a Hudson, so I would prefer not to get him. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for cooperating with me and not giving me the prime. Nice. I love the diamonds, but I'm running out of golds, and I have a million diamonds as it is already. I forgot we're going to bring uh, Chad Green to to um, Black Diamond right now. I'm still waffling over his skill set. Maybe somebody can tell me personally. I, I asked my clubmates, and I got one response, and my intentions are not to settle on it forever 
But I wanted to use his other skill slot and try it out and see what it's like. I think that it would be worth chance. Uh, his other skill set is is Fin Touch Control Artist. All threes. Like, he's triple threed out. And obviously, when I got it initially, the idea was to use a blue on him and to get him uh, a really good relief pitcher skill set. However... I'm not too confident in that strategy. So as you can see, here is my uh, my set here. Control R's finesse touch. I'm using Dom Finn right now, just kind of as a as a bridge until I actually use skill changes on him again. So I want to try out the new skill set. I mean, I don't think it can perform much worse than Dom Finn right now. I mean, I think every week he's got a three or four ERA pretty much. Uh, obviously, I can't show you this now because he he the week just started so. So maybe I will get his ERA numbers from the end of this week, and then we will see what it's like. Let's just use the bar golds. And look at that. He's level 10 already from just using items. Boom. Look at that. We're uh, obviously going to take finesse. Some people on the other server... They're, like, they train it for finesse and then they max Dom. Me, personally, I'm just going to max finesse. Like, I don't have time for that. It's an interesting theory. Like, you can make an argument, but I'm just going to take finesse to to um, to 7 in the situation every time, personally. But he actually gained some overall, overall on that. We're at 123.4. I thought we were 123.2 or 3 previously. That's pretty cool. So, let's continue. We still have not finished with the premium packs. There are so many premium packs to go through, man. My goodness. Alrighty, then. Finally done with the premium packs. Hopefully, we will find some more golds in the sil in the, um, the combos from the silver packs. And we will be able to get ourselves some of these diamonds out of our inventory, finally. At least I'm hoping. That's the hope. So if you guys want to give me your comments, I want to hear some interesting suggestions that you think of people that should be Supreme Cards. Uh, like, who do you think should be your Supreme Cards? I mean, I personally, uh, Willie McCovey, Roberto Clemente are pretty cool are pretty cool options, in my opinion. Obviously, everyone's going to say Barry Bonds, you know, Willie Mays. Uh, Ted Williams would be a cool one. How about Ted Williams? No, nah, they'd never do that. Let's be real, they would never do that again. They removed Ted Williams and now like what they're gonna what, they're gonna put him back? Yeah, no, I doubt that. I, I some people said they didn't want to use another Yankee card, but obviously I would love to see like a Yogi Berra. I think that'd be a pretty cool option. I I'm trying to think outside the box in terms of like Supremes such as like, you know, catchers or relief pitchers would be pretty pretty cool. Um, I don't know. They already have a Raleigh Fingers card, so I don't know if they would need to have one. Don't know. Koufax might be an interesting one. Although I feel like so Koufax would be a better legend than a Supreme because of how short his career was. You know, obviously a Hall of Fame career, not taking anything away from him, but considering how short the career was of his, I feel like that would probably rather be a, a legend than a Supreme. Oh man, all those You know, I'd rather take the I'd rather take the gold honestly than take another diamond, so I'm I'm actually okay with that. I'm not gonna lose any sleep over that at all. That's probably for the better. Let's keep on trucking. Diamond? Nope. Take the gold, that's fine. I will absolutely 100% use that later on. Now the gold, sick. I love it when it upgrades to the silvers into the golds. Thank you, Hunter Strickland. I appreciate you. I see there's a Wani Peralta in my inventory. It is a Wani Peralta. Nice. Whoops. 
So for those of you who have been following this channel over the, over the last couple months, I'm almost done building my computer. I have only a couple more pieces to go. I've been buying pieces like per paycheck, so I've been essentially just you know, piecing this together. I started with the most expensive thing, like the graphics card. I've been working my way down the parts list of buying the most, the next least expensive thing. So I've just bought the RAM, and now I think the next thing to do is to either buy the the cooling fan for the processor, I think, is next. And then maybe, like, the PSU are pretty close in price. So we're, we're almost getting there. If you know the hierarchy of computer parts, like the, like the most expensive thing in a computer is going to be the graphics card. There is there is no way around that. That's just the way it is. And then probably, like, the least expensive thing would be, like, hard drive space. So that's where we are in the computer hierarchy. We're almost there is what I'm trying to say is that I, I will probably be done by the time the Blues and Greens come out. Hey, Clay Holmes. Yankee legend, fresh off the injured list. Phantom IL stint for Mr. Clay Holmes. It's funny. is I was said this in a previous video. I don't know if I talked about this, but like, the Yankees put Nestor Cortez on the injured list, and I'm just like, oh, it's a Phantom injured list stint. Because they're saying he had a groin injury. And I'm like, but why is he running around the field and do throwing bullpens? And they announced that he's already ready to throw a bullpen, and that he'll have live pitching in t in Tampa coming up the next series. The next series, he'll be throwing live BP. Like he's not hurt. It's like a lot of Yankee fans freaked out when they heard that Nestor Cortez was gonna go on the injury list, and I'm like, he's not hurt. He's gonna miss a couple starts. Because of innings limits, because he's never pitched this many innings in his entire life, so that's crazy. I didn't uh, three silver got me a gold, but uh, I was like, as soon as they announced that he's going to be throwing like live BP pretty soon, I'm just like, oh yeah, okay, Phantom injury list. You know, he's not even hurt. That's what I kind of thought. So big sigh of relief there. They're just you know giving him a, a little time to rest in between. Do I have a silver left? No, I don't. That's crazy. Not even one silver left. That's okay, I got a couple more silvers right here. Prime? Vintage? Nope, neither. That would have been pretty cool. I'm, I'm still kind of in shock with that Sig Pack. Like, I still can't believe it. We pulled a diamond. First off, just think about that. We pulled a diamond and we pulled a card I already had. And then on top of that, we club crafted it into another card we already had. Man. Or a card that's not really useful for us is what I should what I really should say is that we do not need another Aaron Hicks card. We already club crafted it. That's a diamond from a team select pack. Please be a goose gossage. No, it's a Lance Lynn. Lance Lynn 2018. Often forgotten Yankee. Okay, live season. Let's see a judge or maybe like a Rizzo or like a, a Nestor Cortez. No, Matt Carpenter still got the POTM bonus. Very nice. Very nice. He's been hurt, so I am waiting for his card to be nerfed into the ground at any point now. I'm just sitting here. Wow, no diamonds. Sitting here just waiting for his card to be nerfed into the ground because Com2 loves to do that. As soon as a player misses time, they just get absolutely shellacked by the rating system. Honestly, it's probably better than anything else that I got no diamonds from that because while I'd like to see the diamonds from the old packs, it's probably better for my, my lack of gold cards that I get all the golds I could possibly ever need from that. And then after this, we will be using the... I've got five premium skill change tickets to go through today, so we will be using those on Judge. Because I feel like that, despite the fact that we, we have a lot of pitchers waiting for for uh, PSETs, I mean, for greens and blues on the pitching side, but I would like to get a couple more batters, you know, getting getting a little bit closer to looking pretty solid. And I would really like to use it on a judge who has a, a two on his bottom skill. And I would like to get him something a little bit better 
maybe a, a three or a four before I use any blues and greens on him. That'd be pretty cool. Thank you for the diamond. Are we already out of golds? No, okay, I thought we were out of golds. I was about to be extremely concerned if we were out of golds. Hey, there's a gold. But it's like, I, I don't really have a lot of legend skills on my batters right now. Obviously, I've got like a couple pioneers and a couple bad, um, one bad ball hitter. But, I mean, that's really all I've got so far. I would like to see a, another legend set. If I got good numbers with, um, what's the word? It's contact master. If I got some good numbers, if I got some high numbers, like four or five in the bottom skill set with contact master, I'd probably take it. Just as like a bottom of the lineup guy, it'd be pretty cool to have. Especially before my, my bigger guys come up at the top of the lineup. I think that'd be pretty cool. Okay, let's go. I'm going to open this and then go back up to the top of the lineup. Yeah, I've got, I got roster space. I've got like 40, 44 sp spaces. That should definitely be enough. One diamond from all those ults. That's kind of crazy. It's a Tarek Scooble. Also, we got seven diamond packs. I don't know where we got seven diamond packs from. I don't know. Because they don't even give you a diamond pack from ranked anymore. I actually finished in the top 300 on ranked this week, which is probably the highest I've finished in a long time. That's probably the highest I've finished ever, honestly. I don't I don't know if I've ever finished that high before. Last week, I was in position to finish in the 200s, and then I lost like 10 times in the last minute. And then I got bumped down to like the mid to low 300s, but I hung on. So I don't know where I got all these diamond packs from. Maybe from League? I don't really know. That's pretty cool, though. That's a lot of diamonds. And now, all of a sudden, we've got a million, a million new diamonds to use. Ah. Oh. I'll take the diamond prime. You can get a prime from this. Thank you. That's a pretty cool card. I will never use it. That's pretty cool, though. And our live diamond player pack. Our last is a Seattle Mariner. Dylan Moore. I believe I already have Springer. I think I have him as a gold. Because I'm pretty sure I have most of the Astros primes already. Yeah, I already have his. Uh, I already have his prime. That's pretty cool, though. I'll take a diamond upgrade any day of the week. Uh, we're just here to collect diamond primes at this point, so it's pretty fun to just collect them for me, in my opinion. So I, I enjoy it. Gold and a silver. No, no legend from the the pack pull. I thought I had a. No, I don't have an intermediate vintage. I guess that must be an event only thing because it's so weird that that's just kind of like not every week. I don't know. Very, very, very weird. We're just going to release you. Uh, let's do. So I got a gold, a silver, and a silver. Gold, silver, silver. We also are still only one stick away from having another sick combo, too. We have a lot of vintages. We have more vintages than I anticipated, so we'll have a couple combos. Let's combo away this uh, George Brett guy, too, shall we? No, I'm just kidding. I mean, he's a vintage, right? I also retrained Tino. I need to show you guys that at, at some point as well. I retrained Tino. Um, I'm not going to pretend like it was a good training. But it was good enough. Ernie Banks. No, Reed's a great pitcher though, but unfortunately not really going to be useful for me, unfortunately. 67 base relief pitcher, pretty good. So let me show you guys the training I got on Tino. I got his new set in there too, Slugger Instinct, Charisma 8, Endurance 4. So as you can see, it's okay. I mean, it took me a couple hours and I got bored and I said I'm just going to settle for this because it's okay. Uh, much better than what he was. Much better than what he was. Way more balanced now, 14, 16, 15, 
um, give him I2 because of his uh, slightly lower eye, although it doesn't really matter in this situation. They're pretty even in terms of his contact and his eye, but should be much happier. I, I can't compare it to him, what he was last week, but definitely way happier in terms of his numbers. So we will see how he performs. Um, happy with it. I, I think that if I got 10 or less, I'd be splitting hairs, so I'm not going to really invest that much into a normal diamond uh, so I'm just going to wait for the SIG and then worry about getting a good training on the SIG instead whenever I do get a SIG first baseman, if I ever get a SIG first baseman, that is. Obviously, there are no guarantees in life. The only things in life that are guaranteed are death, taxes, and me getting pot- oh, HOLY SHIT! Oh my god, no way! We, we literally- the, Dude, this is- this video is- this video is crazy, dude! What is happening?! This pioneer triple threes. Oh my god, no way. This is I have to, oh, oh my god, I need a lottery ticket today, dude. This is the craziest video. We got a diamond mileage sig, we get a Yankee pull from it, and we get triple skills pioneer on judge. One of the most like the legitimately most Insane six in the game, and he now has Pioneer. The triple skills Pioneer. What's his other skill? I wasn't even paying attention. I saw Pioneer and threes, and I just blacked out. Like, what? What are his other skills? RBI means okay. So he's gonna need blues and greens, dude. Oh my god, he is now the most. He's gonna be one of the most disgusting batters in my lineup. I'm so excited, dude. We fought. How long? I saw Pioneer and I got hyped, and then I just kept seeing, like, okay, let me wait for the levels to come up, and then the levels keep going up. Threes, I just, oh my god, that is one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. I've I've never, ever even seen triple threes with alleged skill in this account. Even the bad ones, that's the first time I think I've actually done that. I, I don't even, can I just end the video there? Can we just end it there? Like, hello? We've had some pretty kind of interesting luck in the last couple of weeks and that probably is honestly the most stupid thing that's happened um i don't even know what else to use these on anymore at this point i was not expecting to hit anything here um i guess we could theoretically use it on on hap on his second slot and just see if we can pull another pitcher set because i think that would probably be better because i, I would like to get him off of bullpen day at some point uh, I want to see if we can get him a better set on uh, good levels, but unfortunately not. Moving up in the world, baby. Okay, one more. Uno mas. Uno mas. Come on, give me give me a legend skill. Oh, man. Good numbers again. Man, that is... I, I honestly am I'm I am I am shocked and I need to go I need to go lock that set real quick before I accidentally delete it. <clears throat> and I've lost my voice now. I cannot wait until blues and greens now. It is going to be an amazing hopefully blues and greens for us because if you think about it, we have a legend to blue green, we've got judge and we've got three people in the bullpen with legend skills for blues and greens so i need blues and greens very badly right now so i don't know what I, uh, what else i'm gonna do but i desperately need those blues and greens right this minute and let's go let's go finish combining away the players in my lineup real quickly before i forget i got a little sidetracked there obviously i'm a little drunk with power right now Oh my goodness. I, I, I can't even believe it. Yeah, give me another Diamond Prime. Just give me another Diamond Prime. Because this video isn't crazy enough. Just give me Diamond Prime. Okay, I was going to say. <laughs> this video is a little too crazy right now. Like, we need to we need to, we need need to, to relax a little bit. You know, lose, use up all of my luck for the next forever. Like, I'll never get another pull for the rest of my life now at this point. But that is huge, man. I've been begging for, like, a good skill set on Judge for how long now? for forever like ever since the idea of premium skill change tickets for legend skills came out i've wanted what am i doing ever since the idea of like pioneer and bad ball hitter i've wanted that set on judge and i finally have it 
So now we need to we need to wait and be patient, like on Christmas, and wait for Santa to come down the chimney and for Com to to. It's not really a good. It's not really a good comparison, is it? Because then I'm not. They're not giving me blues and greens. I'm paying them for blues and greens. Like they just need to give me the opportunity to buy them. So the analogy is a little is a little weird, but I think you understand what I'm what I mean. I, I was a good I was a good boy this year. I I hope. We have so many diamonds, man. I don't have enough golds to use these diamonds up. Like, me, a couple years ago, would see this inventory and go, what am I doing? But, anyway. So now we still have normal... We now have normal skill changes to go through here. Normal skill changes. Which, to me, is almost inconceivable. That we still have more to do. So I think we're going to keep running it on skill set 2 on Posada. I think so. So we'll probably do that. We're going to see if we can get something interesting on him. Although, oh, oh wow. Triple threes again. Just triple. Th Today's just a day of triple threes, man. Unbelievable. Give me something interesting. At this point, I won't, I, won't even be, I won't even be mad. I can't even slow myself down from speaking right now. I'll have to, I speak too fast sometimes, especially when I'm so excited like this. Like, I can't slow myself down. But I, I cannot believe it. Like, I would not even be upset if they gave me nothing at this point because I would, no matter what happens at this point, I am content. Like, this video has been a roller coaster of emotions. It has been a roller coaster of emotions from pulling uh, a... a a diamond from a sig pack to then combining the diamonds to get a team sig to then the team sig being a dupe to then club crafting the dupe to then pulling triple skills on a pioneer set. Just honestly insanity. I take a drink of water. There's no way my voice... My voice is probably going to be destroyed at the end of this video, so I need to hurry up and get through this real quickly before my voice completely gives out. I can feel it in my throat. You know when you leave a baseball game and you've been screaming your head out, all, like, you know, for hours? Like, that's when I... When I leave a playoff baseball game, that's how I feel. I have no voice the next day. I've been screaming and chanting for hours, so... You know. Kind of way I'm feeling right now. Looks like it'll be a, a quiet day for me. I was going to say more triple threes. My goodness. Batting Machine Charisma. BIU. Interesting. No, no thank you. All right, so I was initially concerned about the fact that only one Legend skill... I only really had the Legend, uh, the, the new pitcher for me, that I would only have him to do uh, guaranteed blue-greens on for triple sets. But now, uh, ooh, that's an interesting skill set. He doesn't hit BIU, though. I'm pretty sure that's a no-go because he doesn't have BIU. It's not like I'm really that pressed for skills on him. I'm looking for something, like, life-changing. Also, I have table setter, too, but he usually comes up in scoring situations. That's an interesting set, too, but I still I feel it's a little weak. There's two threes in there. Actually, three threes, because Spotlight's actually almost a three at this point. Spotlight has really kind of fallen off in terms of people's favors. Like you, you don't see a lot of people running Spotlight as a main, as a main thing. Like it, it's it's definitely not on the same level as Charisma or BIU. It's definitely not on the same level, and we're we're realizing that. Laser beam, Slugger Instinct. That's not bad. I wish it was anything other than Laser Beam. Good numbers too. Like if that was um, if that was Charisma, that would be amazing. Okay, last couple here. Charisma, thank you. That's like my favorite. Even with nerf, charisma is so good. Even with nerf, charisma is so good. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for me for today, you guys. Uh, I appreciate you guys being here on this absolutely insane ride with me. I mean, it has just been honestly crazy. So, 
I hope you guys had some good luck with your polls. If you guys want to leave me your suggestions in the comments section for who you guys believe should be in the new the new Supreme packs that are not confirmed yet. I'm only assuming it. Don't 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 worry. Don't think about that I have this information. I do not. I'm assuming they will be giving us more historic player packs. So if you guys have any ideas about who you would prefer to see in a historic player pack, I want to hear it from you guys so that way I can read the comments because I love reading your comments. I may not answer all the time, but I do love reading the comments I read them on my phone. And uh, they make my day way much, like, so much better when I get to read you guys' comments because it's so much fun to read them. You guys have great ideas, and it's fun to get another perspective on everything, especially the things I do in this video. And you guys always tell me whenever I do things wrong because, believe me, I always do things wrong. I'm not perfect in any way. Anyway, with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. I don't think this next video will be nearly as crazy as this one, but this one was a wild ride. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Honestly, one of the craziest videos we've had in a long time. Without further ado, I need to get out of here. I will see you guys soon. Peace.